The first object which saluted my eyes when I arrived on the coast was the sea, and a slave ship, which was riding at anchor and waiting for its cargo. These filled me with astonishments, which was soon converted into terror when I was carried on board. I was immediately handled and tossed up to see if I was sound by some of the crew, and I was now persuaded that I had gotten into a world of bad spirits, and that they were going to kill me. The complexion too differing so much from ours, their long hair, and the language they spoke, which was very different from any I had ever heard, united to confirm me in this belief. Is it not enough that we are torn from our country and friends to toil for your luxury and lust of gain? Must every tender feeling be likewise sacrificed to your avarice? Why are parents to lose their children, brothers their sisters, or husbands their wives? Surely this is new refinement in cruelty. This traffic cannot be good, which spread like pestilence and taints what it touches, which violates that first natural right of mankind, equality and independence, and gives one man a dominion over his fellows which God could never intend, for it raises the owner to a state as far above man as it depresses the slaves below it, and with all the presumption of human pride, sets a distinction between them, immeasurable in extent, and endless in duration. I hope the slave trade will be abolished. I pray it may be an event at hand.